when I told him I was going to do this green diet, he's like, yeah, well, you know, if you lose weight, that'll help, you know, but uh, he's now like, he's like following this closely and he goes, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. Over 15 years ago, I, uh, I actually uh, was at work and uh, I got this call from my uh, supervisor, uh, my secretary to say, you need to be down in my office right now. And I'm like, I, I, I go, yeah, I'll be right there. And the next thing I know, my vice president's calling me and he goes, you need to be in my office right now. And I'm like, and and I wasn't I wasn't feeling good. I went to the doctor like a couple of days before. My um, sugar uh, was seven hundred, and they were afraid. I got near them on the roof, wow. and they're like, "You need to go to the hospital right now." And <laughs> so, so you have an active job, like you say, you're on the roof, like you're working in construction, doing things, and your blood glucose is seven hundred. Yeah. Wow. So, that way, that was my introduction into uh, you know. Now, just just to put it into context, so the reason why they told John to go to the hospital is because the average person with sugars in that kind of range, 700, 800, who has a type two diabetes, they can go into something called hyperosmolar coma, which is they can slip into a coma because their blood is so thick with dissolved sugar it just sludges up their brain it causes and you can die from it that's why they sent you to the hospital yeah so I, I i you know got back to my doctor he put me on uh pills at first in uh glipizide metformin you know and uh and for several years it was fine i had to increase the dosage as i went along and uh, up until I'd say about seven years ago, I started needing shots. And uh, right at the end, I needed uh, a shot in the morning, the pills, and then a shot at night. And I, I was usually around 200 anyway. Okay, so you're taking all these medications, blood glucose is still high. Do you remember what type of shot you were taking? Was it Lantus? Lantus and Victoza. Got it, okay. Tell Robbie what your hemoglobin A1C is when you were on all this insulin and the sugars. Well, it was sugar uh, pills. In, in, I, I was just going through some records in that and uh, it was up to 13.8. I think I sent you that. You did. But uh, my other doctor, uh, when I told him I was going to do this green diet, he's like, yeah, well, you know, if you lose weight, that'll help, you know. But uh, he's now like, he's like following this closely. And he goes, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. This is, you know, it's like, you know, so he, you know, it, the, the medications that he was giving me was not really helping me. So, so how did you find Dr. Rice? When, when did you start changing your lifestyle? What, what happened? My, my sister uh, um, says, hey, we got to go see this doctor. They, uh, you know, they have, uh, you know, this whole plant food diet. You know, let's go check it out. And I was, I, what got me to try anything was the neuropathy pain was just so, uh, uh, it was just getting so intense and so often, it was like three times a week, I would just, uh, it, I was at wit's end. Yeah. And uh, so. And that was despite being on the gabapentin. Yeah. Were you taking the gabapentin yes. all the time? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I was willing to do anything at that time, you know, uh, it was just, you know, I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't yelling. I was, uh, you know, gaining. I couldn't lose weight. You know, so um, I met 
you know, the doc, and he says, you know, let's do these. Yeah, I, I'm guaranteeing you that your 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 diabetes would be cured. And I'm thinking, wow, he got the drug or something. Man. <laughs> you know, he okay, give it to me, man. You thought you know, this, he, this doctor has yeah, the god yeah, <laughs> And I'm like, you know, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm thinking this guy's blowing smoke up my butt, you know, and uh, and I go, but if you're saying it'll work, I'll give it a try. Yeah, I could do it, you know. And he's like, yeah, most people can't do it. And I'm like, oh, I'll give it. Yeah, if you're telling me this is what I need, I will do it. And uh, within three days, I had to stop all my medications because my uh, uh, sugar came was under a hundred, and wow. I never. I get under a hundred, I start shaking, you know, wow. and uh, and I, I haven't touched diabetes medication since the first three days I've been on this diet, which is I tell people that, and they're like, you know, what else were you doing? You know, it's like no, I'm telling you. Spinach, kale, collard greens, and that's all you need, you know? And tell Robbie what your hemoglobin A1C is as of last week. Uh, 6.0. 6.0. On nothing. It was 13 on all these drugs. Yeah. And he's still, still coming down. And we expect, John, uh, we threw down a challenge mm -hmm. to John within three months. I said, John, can you lose another uh, 16 pounds, 16 and a half pounds? He said, no, we'll lose uh, 20 pounds. There we go. I like that. We're expecting him to hopefully get the hemoglobin A1C to below 5.7. That's it. That's the goal. Another three months. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so this is so Dr. Weiss, he has the miracle here. So you listed a lot of greens, but you, you eat more than just greens, right? Yeah, I, 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 the greens, uh, uh, he, the, he has a detox uh, for the first 30 days that was really strong greens, just the big dark leaf, leafies and a pound of fruit. Which I know you're. <laughs> you I borrowed that from Ron. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, I, a pound of a pound of greens, a pound of fruit, and then some sweet potato, brown rice, you know, uh, oatmeal. And uh, so I would have the old. You you see now? I sent you some pictures. Absolutely. I'd have oatmeal with blueberries or banana, and then I'd have my greens with some mushrooms you know, carrots cut in, you know, and then at night I'd have, you know, sweet potato and more greens in that. And, uh, cause I don't cook, uh, very well. So, uh, I keep it simple and it works. Okay. So Dr. Weiss, there are plenty of people listening to this who are very confused right now. You, you just, you solved this guy's diabetes telling him to eat lots of greens, some fruits, Rice, sweet potatoes, why does this work? Well, um, it works because uh, carbohydrates is not, John, repeat, not, not. with capital letters, <laughs> N-O-T, the cause of diabetes. Yeah. So when the endocrinologist, the conventional endocrinologist, tells the diabetic to count the carbs and watch out for carbs, it doesn't help the diabetes because that's not what is causing the diabetes. It is animal foods, yeah, right? It's saturated fats that is causing the diabetes, causing the uh, insulin resistance and dysfunction of the way insulin is used and glucose and sugars get into cells and then the sugars start accumulating in your blood and then you get high sugars. So as soon as you cut all that stuff out that you did, yeah. and as soon as you eat plants, you can eat sweet potatoes and you can eat things that have, you know, you can eat grapes, right? Yeah. That have sugar in it. And I eat a lot of fruit, right? And of course, right? Robbie's favorite, a tofu mangoes. That's or, it. <laughs> right now, I, I forget the name of it. 
your variety. I love your... it. Okay, so this is amazing. And now, what other benefits have you received? Are there any other medications that you've gotten off? Or well, I, 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 uh, my blood pressure uh, was high also, and I was always on uh, Benicar for you know, like 15 years also. And uh, I immediately got off of that too within that first few days. And uh, uh, I haven't had any medication since. Tell them about so, the swelling of your leg. Yeah. The more. terrible edema. I had uh, swelling of the legs and feet. I had also chronic cough, which I, I, I mean, the doc would say, take a deep breath. And I, I start inhaling and I start coughing. Is like, and now I, uh, to do this interview, I wouldn't have been able, hardly able to do it. I'd be coughing so much. Probably cough variant you know? asthma. Wow. The, the most common cause of a chronic cough, a dry cough is a type of asthma which is called cough variant asthma. It's not the kind of asthma that causes you to be wheezing and shortness of breath. It just causes a chronic dry cough. Wow. And, and plants yeah. are plant-based diets are the most powerful treatment to reverse asthma. They're my medicines, as the doc says. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, I, and I don't, you know, I don't have to take nasal sprays and all the things that, you know, uh, uh, I forget Claritins and all of them and that, you know, so uh, it's, uh, there's a whole bunch of medicines that I don't need anymore. And uh, I'm, I'm really doing pretty well, you know, and the neuro, the big thing is the neuropathy pain. Uh, I've had like, five incidences of uh of pain you know since uh, in eight months which i'd have five in a week so that's that's the biggest uh you know uh, you know uh benefit that i i've i've had because i couldn't i couldn't function anymore now the the diabetes did bring on a, a neuropathy, um, and uh, it seems like it's turned into peripheral neuropathy. So I uh, I still uh, still battling that. You know. But that so do you, do you mind if I talk yeah, about right, that a little yeah. bit? So um, <clears throat> yeah, John has a very rare, uh, unusual case. He has, he has more than just diabetic peripheral neuropathy. He has a rare autoimmune uh, neuropathy too, on top of the diabetic neuropathy, which was very difficult to diagnose. So we're going to try and uh, start some um, new treatments, some IV infusions of antibodies to help with that special kind of neuropathy because it is separate from the diabetic neuropathy. Yeah, and that's important to, to talk about here. It's like the, the plant-based diet, it's not like the, it just solves everything, everything goes away. It, it's, it's a dramatic improvement in quality of life. Some things have happened, there's autoimmune conditions, there's all these complicating factors. So, you know, when everybody's here just saying, oh yeah, we're just gonna solve everything. But at, life gets better and you, you now have, you know, a doctor who can help you work through this stuff and explore new options. So that's important. Yeah, I, I was ready to give up and cash in my chips, and now I I, I want to really fight to stay in there, you know. And it uh, it's all because of the diet, and uh, it's really amazing. And you know, you guys both you guys do great stuff. And That's all. Wow. Well. So if there's somebody out there, they're listening to this, they're watching this, and they're thinking, you know, you know, maybe I'll do this, maybe uh, they're on the edge. What would you tell somebody who's thinking about changing their diet? Uh, watching all the videos and that and seeing how uh, really meats and the fats from animals really has no value and it hurts the environment and everything else. It's like... Uh, it, it, there, there is no uh, negative to do this, really. And uh, if you have diabetes, I mean, this is the cure. 
I mean, as my 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 regular uh, doctor says, he's 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 amazed. He, he can't believe it, you know. And uh, and there's so many other doctors that are prescribing uh, the pills and the shots and everything, thinking they're doing the right thing, and it's not. It's just masking it. And in the meanwhile, I'm blind in one eye. My, you know, my feet, I can't feel them. I can't really, you know, feel my hands. And if, if he would have known that uh, before it got this severe, all I had to do was change to a, a plant-based diet, I, would be, I wouldn't have had any of these things now that I have, you know? So I might, you know, if you want to get cured, this is the uh, the miracle drug. It's spinach and kale and uh, mango and all that stuff. Yeah, you know? it works. It's I, I, I love it. I love it. Before we go, Dr. Weiss, can you just tell everybody a little bit about yourself, about your practice, and and how people can find you? Sure. So. Um, I am a board certified internist and uh, I am um, an assistant professor of clinical medicine at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. And uh, my practice is located in the middle of uh, a 275 year old working farm where we grow to um, beyond organic standards, uh, the plants that reverse diseases like John's. And uh, uh, we, the way we grow these plants not only helps the health of the people we serve, but also helps the environment here in our state. So um, we love doing what we're doing. And uh, our practice is a primary care practice. We take all kinds of patients from, you know, youngsters to super centenarians. Anyone who wants to either prevent problems from occurring or who has problems and wants to reverse them, uh, that's what we specialize in, in all kinds of diseases.